previously in America. I've been a painter for pretty much all my life. I was very enthusiastic as a, as a youngster, and then I even went to Vancouver School of Art. I fell in love with an American artist's work, Andrew Wyeth, and I went seriously into watercolors. And I got established in galleries quite quickly, did very well, and I sold lots of watercolors. I got involved with Kitani Splash of Red quite early, like five or six years at least. And that's why I'm here now. An artist is something you, you, you are. You, you can't become one. You can't unbecome one. I've tried to quit even. You know, I have other skills and talents. I was a, a renovation contractor to make a learner, uh, earn a living enough to support a family, but my art kept coming back, coming back. So I love art, and uh, for me it's important because I'll see something like an oceanscape or a setting, and I'll go, wow, that's, I gotta, I gotta record that somehow. And so it, it's the emotions, and then translating it on through, uh, you know, even Mark of of course, the big pieces. And doing that, you feel, I feel, Alive. It's no fun hanging your artwork in your closet in your own house that nobody sees. It's, it is, it's generally people are very uh, supportive of us, so it's, it's great to be able to give something back uh, and, and become involved in these things. Like, it's, it's a wonderful thing that Kitani House is here like, you, for young know, people and people who are you know, interested in the arts. So, yeah, it's, it's great. It's really come a long way. It's, uh, it's, it's growing. It won't go away. The art's gonna go away. The painting, the painting's done. My job's done, so now somebody gets to have it. So I look forward to seeing who, who's excited about it.